All right, we got something exciting here in the channel. As you can see right here, we have a bike box and we just came in right now. Really excited to get this thing open. Not as excited about Maddie because it's Maddie's bike, it's not mine, even though I wish it was. I'm gonna have him tell you about it. Guys, I've got the sickest new bike right now. I am so lucky because thanks to Mongoose, they just hooked me up with this brand new bike. And I promise once I open this box, it's gonna be very nostalgic for a lot of you watching this, but not for me. This bike was made before my time. So I'm gonna go build this thing up and Scott's gonna tell you all about it. Every BMX rider knows how important Mongoose is to BMX, an iconic brand that helped pave the way for BMX to become what it is today. In this box is an iconic bike that was first released at the end of the 1970s. This is the Mongoose Super Goose, but this bike isn't 40 plus years old. It's the same design, the same geometry, and same look, but it's a reissue that has been remade just recently. And this Super Goose was modeled after the 1984 loop tail frame. Today's Super Goose features 100% 4130 chromoly tubing and alloy drilled pro class rims unique to mongoose. The super goose matches the spec of its predecessor including die comp brakes and levers, pro class handlebars and colorway inspired by the original model and now it's time to go over the bike in detail. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. This thing is awesome. It really I can't is. believe it. Just check out the color of this yes. fucking bike. Like, the red on here is unbelievable. Dude, I swear, I, I haven't seen a red like this like on any BMX no bike. It does anything fun anymore. They really Look don't. at it. The color scheme, blue, red, chrome, polished. It like this needs to come good. back immediately. <laughs> I do I just, like it, man. And I've been saying it for a while. I think the style of BMX from like the 80s to now, like the truth is BMX got very, very boring. So boring. But it, it worked back then. This was something that was how every bike was built, but they did it with their own style. Like in old bikes like this, you can look at the frame and be like, oh, I know what that bike yeah. is exactly. Mm -hmm. In modern day BMX, you can't do that. Nobody's taking risks. And I get it. You know, bikes are made to stay together. And there's a lot of gambling going on with these bike companies <laughs> coming up with these random ideas. Like, like the way that this back end is made, you can see it's a one piece right there. See, it's welded at the dropout. So it's way different. But the style itself, when it comes to just appeal, like this thing, I can see it must have just flew right off the bike shop shelves, man. Like it just, it looks like, hey, buy me. <laughs> this right now, awesome. If I went to the bike shop and I saw this next to my BMX bike, <laughs> I'm going for this. Okay, yeah, it definitely it. does pop off. <laughs> and like looking at the pads that come on it, like it's just so cool. Graphics, this needs to come back. I'm really excited about this it, bike. I'm and I'm really excited about today's video, actually. This is going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> Let me tell everybody about it. So as soon as I found out that Maddie was getting this bike, I was so excited about it because he gets to build it as a collector's item. That's what everybody is doing with it. But we're gonna do things a little bit differently. We're gonna have one session on it today and we're gonna take it to the skate park and Maddie is going to attempt to ride this thing like it was supposed to be ridden in the air. So what we're gonna try to do is model off of a couple different things. Like we're gonna go through ride and we're gonna check out a lot of the cool tricks that they did in like the opening and closing credits. And we're gonna try to copy the same exact steez on this bike. So it's gonna look time appropriate. We're gonna get Maddie wearing a little bit more of a time appropriate <laughs> outfit as well. And we're just gonna have fun with this one today. But I'm really curious to see if this thing holds up or not because there's a lot of outdated technology on this bike we're talking one piece cranks like old fork design that thing looks like they were experimenting in the 80s and that's exactly what they were doing but like i said one session we're gonna have some fun let's go make it happen ladies and gentlemen from the 1980s this is maddie kramer Dude, you look the part, man. Yeah, pretty cool. When you came in the skate park, people were like, who's that guy? Nobody said hi to me today. I was pretty <laughs> upset. <laughs> Three people are like, oh, I didn't know that was you. I think it's that jealousy of this cool looking bike, man. <laughs> so, are you ready for the challenge today? This is going to be very interesting to say the least. I'm excited for this, Scott. Good. This is, uh, this is a movie I grew up on. <laughs> so, let's recreate it today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is gonna be so much fun. So we're here in the concrete section of Naval Skate Park And the reason why I came over here is because we're doing tricks from the movie rad And the tricks that I ended up picking out were all air tricks that were done in the concrete bowls back then Now the riders doing it back then insane to see how steep those ramps were and how high they were going and how steezy All the crazy tricks that they were doing were so I picked out a handful of them today And we're just gonna start knocking them out one by one I'm gonna do my best to get similar angles to it But there's no promises they were filming like movie quality stuff and Maggie's also on a bike that just might fall apart if he goes a little bit too crazy. Now, I want to also point out that the movie Rad was in 1986, 
Now the style of bike right there, that's more of a dirt style bike, like a race kind of bike-ish. And the bikes that were in rad, those were like full on freestyle bikes with like pegs and gyros and front brakes and all of that. So we're not doing any tricks that are going to involve any of the flat land, you know, hopping around, anything like that. This is all just style air tricks and that's gonna be the game plan. So let's start off with this trick right here, the fast plant. It was so stylish and so cool. The guys were able to do it. And we're gonna be doing the fast plant on that wedge behind us. Let's do this. What do you think? I'm gonna get speed to get up that. I'm hoping this bowl right here. I can't even get up that on my regular bike. <laughs> hoping this bowl. Oh wow, I wasn't expecting that. All yeah. right, All right. Let me let's make do it. Of a game plan. <laughs> yes. First trick complete. I'm really impressed with the way he was able to execute that one. But the truth is, that is just a starter trick. We're gonna be moving on to yeah. air tricks now. And there's a few of them I have on the list right now. But the first one we're gonna be doing is the one hand, one footer. It's going to be a downside one hand, one footer. So he has to do them on the bottom side of the air. So let's see how he does. Uh, this one's the one that I was most excited about coming into this. So this so. is the back foot though. You usually do your right foot when you take your foot off. So you're doing your left foot, left hand. Left foot, left hand. Yeah. No, that's what I like though. Okay. I think that'll work okay. Yeah, I don't know how it's going to land. I don't know. Should I hold the brake? I would. Yeah. Because it stops the bike from moving. Yeah, don't worry. You might stay sturdy Yeah, there. it will. I'll try that. Okay, yeah. good luck. I'm excited about this one. Oh. Come on, hold it down a little more. Straighten them legs out. It was very stylish. It's a little too stylish, too modern. We're trying to make it a little bit more 80s. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know if we're ever gonna get this one right. I don't know. I'm seeing Maddie have a hard time doing 80s style one hand, one foot. He keeps on doing like a modern, like really stylish, kind of like lazy leg. I need to see something that's more like pow, check me out. That's how they used to do tricks back then. So come on, just think about that, Matt. All right, that was better. <laughs> I think we're gonna have to take that one. So moving on from the one hand, one foot, we're gonna go for a classic can-can. Now in the movie, it's shot from above. I think I should have no problem getting the downward angle of Maddie because he's barely going above coping. It would be a little bit harder if I was filming in the movie right now, that's for sure. So I do have confidence in him getting this one. We'll see how it looks. That was huge. <laughs> So the next trick that we're gonna be doing is one of the most stylish tricks that was actually in the credits of Rad. It's like a topside one-footed tabletop, and I think this trick looks amazing. I wish it would make more of a comeback, and hopefully Maddie can get it right now. Pretty good, Matt. But if you watch the footage, the rider from the 80s does it more flat, does it more like straight up, straight down, and doesn't kick the bike out as much. So we're gonna try to get Maddie to do this thing and clean it up a little bit more. That was better. Nice, Matt. What do you guys say about that one? I mean, I don't know if it was 1986, but like, I felt like it was 86 for like a new touch, you know? Okay, okay. Because like, whatever it was, I think I'm gonna start doing it more often. It felt really cool. So, I don't know how it actually looked, but in my head, I felt like I was like, could have buzzed my shoulder. Yeah. And my, I was doing a karate kick straight up to the sky. All right, well, the next trick is one of my all-time favorites. Let's talk about it. Now this trick is very similar to a trick you've seen in modern day BMX, but if you watch the footing of the trick, that's a big difference. It's a look back, but it's to the front foot instead of to the back foot. So it's not supposed to click in like a regular look back turn down. It's supposed to look like really steezy and really, really cool. So I'm hoping Maddie puts a ton of ADCs on this one and makes it pretty epic. Yeah, that was good. I'm really happy with the way that one looks. The way he was able to kick the bike out, turn the bars just enough on the other side of the leg. Perfect. But there's actually another clip at the end of the credits in Rad where the rider does it, but he does it early in the air and then does like this like Hannah like tuck over the top of the handlebars at the end of it. I think it's so cool. And that's gonna be the last trick that Maddie's gonna do right now. Yeah. Dude, congratulations, man. That was fun. Yeah, I'm congratulating you on surviving because I appreciate that. this bike was not designed to do what you just did. And I really don't want to chance it any more than we just have. It's a really, really cool bike. And you are so lucky I really that am. Mongoose sent you this bike, man. Dude, I can't believe it. I am so stoked on this. Nobody's getting their hands on this. And I'm telling you right now, when my dad watches this video, I know he's going to be trying to get this to he go is. hang in the garage. He really my is. dad doesn't even ride bikes and he just loves old bikes. And once he sees this, he's gonna be like, Matt, send it to me. 
Let's oh. leave it in New Jersey just in case. Yeah, no, he really would, man. This thing is so cool. So huge shout out to Mongoose for sending yeah. this thing over. And huge shout out to Maddie for really playing the part today, man. <laughs> really putting the effort into getting this thing official. And uh, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. So Maddie's gonna cut a couple more laps on this bike before we leave for the night. But yeah, that was a really, really fun video. I'm super psyched that we're able to get our hands on cool looking bikes and pieces of BMX history, man. We are really lucky to be in the position that we are. So I hope you all enjoyed this one. If any any of you have any memories of Mongoose, the Super Goose, anything 80s, please put in the comments. We'd love to check it out and we'll see you all next time. Peace.